the 16th of the year 2000. First item on the agenda is the minutes of the previous meeting, April 24th of the year 2000. Uh, any corrections or concerns from board members? Hearing none, may I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you, David. Thank you, Steve. It's been moved and seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. <coughs> Correspondence received this week. Copy of proposed light fixture for Cross Hill Subdivision. Planning Commissioner's Journal, spring of the year 2000. Zoning news of March 2000. Zoning news of April 2000. <coughs> On the agenda this evening is correspondence on the subject of lighting from Maureen O'Mara. Any questions or concerns regarding correspondence received this week? Hearing none, we'll move on to the first order of business under old business. The applicant Nextel Communications for a communications antenna site plan. Nextel Communications is requesting site plan review to add 12 antennas to the existing 180-foot tall tower located at 351 Spurwick Avenue, Section 19-9, Site Plan Public Hearing. If the applicant would like to begin with an overview. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, ladies and gentlemen, my name is George Chance, project manager for Nextel Communications of the Mid-Atlantic. I'm here seeking your approval for our proposal to co-locate on the existing tower located on map R5, lot 24. The co-location will include nine panel antennas at a height of 135 feet on the existing tower. This will be also be accompanied by a 7-foot by 20-foot equipment shelter. We also uh, moving the existing LP tank is being relocated on this site as I'll show on the plans. This particular site was selected because of Nextel's lack of coverage in this area. As this will indicate, the white shows our present coverage right now by going on the existing tower. This area will be completely covered. So most of the cases will be covered except for this little block. Right here. <coughs> Conversations with the town planner, the town, the town of Cape Elizabeth promotes co-location for facilities when such co-location minimizes any adverse impact. The co-location also eliminates the need for Nextel to erect a tower structure in this area. The sites are manned monitored by computers, computers and require only one to two maintenance trips per month. That's avoiding traffic to the site. No sewer, septic, or water are required. As I can illustrate by showing you the panel antenna, which is indicated by this line right here. This is a panel antenna. There's an antenna inside here. It's hooked up to one, one wire, which runs down the side of the tower into our equipment shelter. There's an ice bridge also to protect the wire, and that is horizontal on the ice bridge to protect any ice or any falling debris. We will be locating on the existing tower with your approval at 135, which is right here. There will be nine panel antennas, uh, three arrays of three panels. In the package that I've given you are photo sims of uh, existing and with Nextel's antennas on the tower. This is where our shelter is proposed to go. We're moving the existing LP tank to this corner of the property right here. I spoke to the fire chief and the town planner. We'll be putting bollards right here, four feet tall, around three sides. <clears throat> Procedure this evening will be to act on whether or not the application is complete. In your package, you have the comments from the town engineer. Uh, if the application is deemed complete, we will then open a public hearing. 
At the close of the public hearing, we'll begin substantial review. Any questions or concern in regards to the application being complete? Just a question about, uh, I see a notation here about a generator. Yes, well, we, uh, we are proposing on the memorandum. What we do is we don't have a generator there permanently. What we do is we bring a generator in if we go down. And that's basically Nextel's policy. There's not a permanent fixed generator on the property, on the site, for Nextel. If something does happen, we would bring a generator in for a long time it waits. Further comments from board members? <clears throat> Steve? I'd like to make a motion. Motion for the board to consider be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented in the application of Nextel Communications of Mid Atlantic for a site plan review of the addition of 12 antennas, nine antennas, I believe, isn't it? It'll be <clears> nine, <throat> to the existing 180 foot tall tower located at 351 Spurlink Avenue be deemed complete. Is there a second from board members? Second. Thank you, Mark. Further discussion of completeness of the application? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. <clears throat> Those in favor of this application being deemed complete, please raise your right hand. <clears throat> this time I'll open the public hearing. In regards to this application, if you wish to speak to the board tonight, please come to forward to the podium and identify yourself by name and residence, and feel free to speak to the board. This time the public hearing is open. Seeing no rush for the podium, public hearing is now closed, and we will begin review of the application. Those of you who may be wondering why we're not asking a lot of questions as this application has been before the planning board and workshop and has been tabled from a previous meeting. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Parker. One quick little question. The area that's not going to be covered by service, where is that? In this, may I bring closer to you? Or I, I can see the white spot. I was just wondering where that white spot is in the town of Cape Lewis, but that's all. Uh, in the middle right here. <laughs> we, have, um, we have the radio frequency engineer. You think it might be the Spurwink Marsh? Yes. Oh, exactly. That's fine. That's no cell phones in the Spurwink Marsh. <laughs> where is it? It's in the Spurwink Marsh, Nancy. Oh. It's the one area we won't have coverage. So when you go duck hunting, you have to leave your cell phone at home. <laughs> Mr. Parkhurst. I'd like to make a motion. No. Motion for the board to consider findings of fact. Number one, Nextel Communications is requesting a site plan review to add nine antennas to the existing 180 feet, 180 foot high tower located at 351 Spurwick Avenue, which requires review under section 19-9 site plan regulations and section 19-8-12 tower antenna performance standards. Number two, the town engineer has recommended the additional details be added to the plans to ensure compliance with the standards of review. Number three, <clears throat> the plan substantially complies with section 19-9 site plan regulations and section 19-8-12 tower antenna performance standards. Therefore, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented the application of Nextel Communications of Mid-Atlantic for Site Plan Review and Tower and Antenna Performance Standards Review of the addition of nine antennas to the existing 180-foot tall tower located at 351 Spurwick Ave be approved with the following condition. Plural. Number one, the baller details and erosion control plan notes be added to the plans in accordance with the town engineer's comments in a letter dated 5-8-2000. Two 
Number two, that the Planning Board's acceptance of the structural report, which includes nine proposed Omnipoint antennas, does not convey Planning Board approval for those antennas. Thank you, Steve. Is there a second? second. Thank you, Nancy. There's been a motion made and seconded. Is there further discussion of the motion? I have one question of the town plan. A condition number two. Uh, could you explain that so I can understand it better? Is that a liability issue? No, I, oh. I, it's a condition that I'm recommending in order to avoid potential confusion in the future. Uh, when the applicant, Nextel, did a structural report, um, they, they, in order to do a structural report, you have to know how many antennas are on the, on the tower right now, and you have to know where they're placed, and then they have to propose the antennas that they want approval for. Well, they shared the cost of the structural report with Omnipoint, who apparently also plans to add antennas to this particular tower. Um, I didn't want there to be any confusion on, on the code enforcement officer's part or on a potential applicant's part that just because this structural report was submitted as part of this project, you're not granting approval to Omnipoint for nine antennas right now. So if you were right now, you'd be voting to approve 18 antennas. And my, my expectation is you've only gotten an, an application from Nextel. You're only approving their antennas. That's why I've recommended that condition, just, just to make it excruciatingly clear. Thank you. Further discussion? Call for a vote. Those in favor of the motion made and seconded, please raise your right hand. Thank you. It is unanimous. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for the detailed maps and the visual aids. Next item on the agenda <clears throat> is the Jordan Farms Stand Site Plan. William Jordan, Jr. is requesting site plan review of the replacement of an existing farm stand with a 720-square-foot farm stand to be located at 21 Wells Road. And this is in regards to Section 19-9, Site Plan Review Completeness. Mr. Jordan, if you'd like to briefly explain the project that we've already worked on in the workshop. I believe we have copies right in front of us, so you can keep those for your reference if you like. Good evening. Um, I'm Bill Jordan, Jr. And uh, basically I'm going to read what this letter says here. So. Uh, we want to replace the 12 by 12 farm stand that we've had for a few years, like about seven years it's been there, with a uh, more permanent structure, uh, 24 by 30 feet with a uh, 10, 10 by 10 foot refrigerated area on the back of it. Um, and also at the same time moving it back from the road to 100 feet back, which is the proper setback. Uh, the building, the, the nearest, nearest lines would be, there's no, no abutter towards Sperlick Avenue. Sperlick Avenue is 1,000 feet away, and the uh, closest house is, their line is approximately 300 feet further up Wells Road at the top of the hill. That's the Atwood residence. Um, we supply the, the water for the facility from the existing farm buildings. Um, for this season, we'd use a temporary toilet facility until the 
till the sewer is completed on Wells Road, and, and we could get permission to uh, to hook into that. And then at that time, we'd add a bathroom. The bathroom would be there. We'd just complete it and hook it up. Um, the trash, we'd take care of that. Haul it to the transfer station as we have in the past. And uh, the the site is presently there's it's just an open grass area. There are contoured drains along the edges of the fields right beside the lot, and that would handle the drainage from the any any drainage from the site. And we'd have at least the five parking spaces required. Most likely, we'd have certainly have more. Now, we didn't want, plan on putting any trees or anything in, but uh, we wanted to add uh, to help designate the parking places, and as well as to add a little something to some basically large planter boxes with things that could be harvested and sold, herbs, flowers, whatever. We don't have any place to have perennials, and I thought we could have a couple of small perennial beds like that with some perennial herbs. And we don't plan to change anything on the signage that's already there. We have a small sign out by the road. It's on the existing building. We put on the new building. And, uh, and we don't foresee any changes necessary in the traffic patterns in the area. I think, uh, Jerry Murray is going to be our contractor. He's going to be the supervisor. We're going to do a lot of the work ourselves with friends helping. Um, I guess that's that take any questions from anyone? Any questions from board members of Mr. Jordan in regards to completeness of the application? <coughs> Hearing none, uh, we need a motion in regards to completeness. Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Thank you, Mark. Uh, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of William Jordan to replace an existing farm stand with a 720 square foot farm stand located at 21 Wells Road be deemed complete. Second. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Any further discussion of the motion of completeness? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. Those in favor, please raise your right hand. It is unanimous. At this time, does the board wish to discuss the need for a site walk or public hearing on this application. Seeing no objections, and everybody knows the site, and it's just a small enlargement of an existing use. Do we have to vote on that, Maureen? No. Okay, thank you. We can now begin review of the application. Any further questions from board members? Other than when Mr. Jordan's going to open for the season? <laughs> yes, please, David. I just uh, wanted to ask Maureen if, this, if it's necessary for them to identify the location of the temporary toilet facility. Um. They don't have to do that. I mean, you could ask for that information. Uh, but since we know that the sewer is, is located in Wells Road and um, the applicant will have to uh, make an appeal to the council to include them in an area that can then be served by that sewer, but we do know that at least there's sewer capacity available. You, you could ask for the identification of the temporary facilities, or, but you don't have to. No, I didn't see it on the plan. I just wanted to... <coughs> It should be noted that the board has received numerous pieces of correspondence, both from the neighborhood and from the public at large in Cape Elizabeth supporting this project, and no objections whatsoever were raised. Hearing no further discussion, is there a motion a board member would like to make? Chair, 
I'd like to make a motion. Yes, Mr. Wilcox. Pick up where I left off on the first one. Okay. Be it further ordered uh, that the application of William Jordan to replace an existing farm stand with a 720 square foot farm stand at 21 Wells Road uh, be approved. Thank you. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Thank you. A race. We'll give it to Nancy this time. <laughs> Is there further discussion of the motion? Hearing none, <clears throat> those in favor, please raise your right hand. It is unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. Best of luck with this season. I wish I'd been here next month. I might have had it built by now. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any further business to come before the board? Mr. Griffin. I'll make a motion. Certainly may. Meeting. <clears throat> second. A motion is made and seconded to adjourn the meeting. Those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. We are adjourned. Thank you very much.